All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the sixth episode of Role Players. I've got my man Reese Britt. I've got my man Dylan Walton. Guys, how is uh, how's the week going so far? Good, man. It's uh, I I think I might have just jumped over you, Dylan, because you're the one everybody wants to see here. But I I was it was good. Who man. wants I mean, to see me? I, I want to see you. Thank you. Jeez, I think you're a very man. interesting person to listen to. Yeah. Why? And I I love your takes. Why? Because they're interesting. There's why why is that so It's a different per, like I, yeah I why is know. that so weird for you? They're showing me too much love. So you're saying you're wondering if it's like like so, there's something under it like we're trying to be mean? Yeah. No. It's okay. My feelings don't get hurt easily. I'm not a mean guy, Dylan. You yeah. know that. Uh, no. I'm, we bros, bro. Yeah, we're yeah, bros. We we're, bros. we're bros. We're bros. Yeah. We're bros. I tell, a, I tell people around campus I know you, dude. And I'm like, not Whoa, famous. You know, oh, you know Dylan? No. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we we got class together. He's my he's my bro, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not famous. Don't That's believe good. him. That's good, man. I'm glad we I'm glad we can all easily famous yet. love each other. Everybody love everybody. I'm yeah, glad we can do that here. I am. And that's we, we that's can. a goal here at Role Players. Just everybody love everybody. All right, let's get into some college football <laughs> as we as we dive into the previous week. Um, boy, with the, we're talking about a busy week in yeah. previous college yeah. football. Um, let's yeah. start with uh, drama. let's start let's start with some drama. <laughs> um, Michigan. Uh, has uh, has been in the headlines as they have been all year, especially recently with the sign ceiling. Uh, Coach Harbaugh has been suspended three games, and we just learned today via Dylan Walton that he will serve the suspension. He will not try to fight it. They will not try to uh, to uh, what was it they're trying to do? They're trying to appeal it, appeal it, and then yeah. they, I know they're trying to like. What did you say? Somebody a restraining order? Yeah, they're tra- that's what it was. They're trying to like, file a restraining order, kind of what Zeke Elliott did when he yeah. got suspended six games to try to like put it off. Um, I guess to try to see if they can do it to the get end, through, get through the season first and foremost, yep. and then try and try and do their but thing. But they said that he, he they said he will serve the suspension. Uh, it'd be the second time he's been suspended this year. Yeah. yeah. So what was I couldn't remember what what he gets suspended for the beginning of the season? Recruiting violations. I yeah. believe. That's what it was. So apparently, and this is just the story I read. So apparently, he bought a recruit. Like they went to dinner, yeah. you know, like on an official visit. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. But you can't buy. Or it was an unofficial visit. That's what it was. Yeah. And he bought the the dinner of the recruits. And so it's like, you know, that's so nitpicky, but it'll get you it will get you a four game suspension. Like, like it's what, against the rules. What, yeah. Yeah. Is, are so. the are, are those rules stupid? Yes. But there are the rules. No. Because I think they're stupid. Like you're buying to a certain a, extent. you're buying a kid dinner. Like to a, certain a hamburger extent. or something like that. That's not gonna be a hamburger. It's Michigan, baby. Yeah, come on. No, bro. it was. I swear, it was like it, that's what the report said. It was like it, it was as simple as like a hamburger and. Fries. But it wasn't no regular hamburger though. Well, probably not. But I'm just saying, it's, it's some five guy stuff. <laughs> 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 no, legit for real. But it was Ann Arbor like type burger. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I mean, do I think it's silly? Even if it is just a hamburger, it's like, come on, man, you're buying yeah. a kid hamburger. Is that gonna be what puts the kid over the recruiting? You never know. Nah. So, I, Word I on the street, these kids be struggling for. <laughs> they I be guess. struggling for real. No, probably, well, if you're getting recruited by Michigan, you're probably doing okay. Yeah, in, now in terms of you're going to get some form of NIL, probably. Yeah. yeah, But so that's part of it. But they did get the win over Penn State, twenty-four to fifteen, which was uh, cool for them to see. Uh, Georgia, you, coach. Georgia beat the snot out of Ole Miss, fifty-two to seventeen. Uh, uh, we'll talk about Lane Kiffin here in a minute. How he's in the headlines, and then Washington outlast Utah, thirty-five to twenty-eight, to remain undefeated. Um, and then alluded to a minute ago, Lane Kiffin came under fire for an audio recording uh, previously of him uh, trying to dismiss um, DeSantis Rollins, who is still technically on scholarship. He's still technically on the team, mm-hmm. even though he hasn't played all year. And uh, he's probably out the door here pretty soon. Um, cr- crazy. Ooh, these- Kiffin or Rollins? Let's say uh, Rollins. Okay, yeah. he's out. Maybe door. both with the Texas A&M job coming open. But yeah. let's let's pan right here to the top ten college football. We've got those rankings up. So. I mean, Michigan's still up there. Me- meanwhile, you know they they just keep on keeping on. There is a technical error in this. Um, unfortunately, Trey White out. Georgia is now number one, which oh. they came out the top it twenty-five. Today. It was Tuesday. Tuesday they hey. came out. For real? I missed it. Yeah, I missed it don't it, it don't matter as long as you're in the top four, baby. That's all that matters. Yeah. But I do think it was we finally got to see Georgia move because they have two yeah. straight top eleven wins. They beat Missouri and then they beat Ole Miss. Oh, just wait. Oh my! Goodness. Oh, just wait. What are y'all ranked? Like twenty now? <laughs> we're ranked 18. because you got the snot we're, kicked we're out of you. By yeah, I, and look, I, you know, I'm not proud of that. I'll Garrett be Trader. Now, what you say? What you say earlier today? You're not going. You're not going to say yep, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, I think Georgia is. You know, I'll pan to this game now. I think Georgia. <laughs> I think Georgia will beat Tennessee. Uh, I think the only thing that's giving Tennessee a lick of hope is Neyland Stadium, and it being the 
you know, toughest environment to play in the SEC, maybe the whole entire country. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and you have fourteen game win streak at home. You know that 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 goes without that's, saying. That's break. Just wait. Gosh, I want I want Tennessee to win so bad. You don't understand. Y'all are, are bringing out the me? worst in me. Are you yeah, call I'm going to call you. I'm okay. probably going to text you, call you, Facetime. You I want to do go everything. To a, I want to go to a game. Dude, it's unlike in, unlike anything. I really want to go. Take a, we take a role players like trip next like year. Like a vlog. No, Let's like, go to the Alabama game. Uh, we don't, we're, we're not rich enough to do that, Slick. <laughs> we don't have enough money in the bank account yeah. to do that. How electric would that? That be? would be electric. I mean, I'd love to go. Well, we, we got pick, Florida at home too. That'll probably be kind we'll of have, pricey. We'll have to pick like a game in which like they're playing like an Austin P. Where like, hey, we oh. could probably get some tickets. It'll no, still, no, it'll no, still no. Sell out. No, I want to go to a game where like it's a sleeper game. It's like you want to go to like a South Carolina. Yeah. 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 Sleeper game where the ticket's not going to be too high. Yeah. But it'll still be a good yeah. game, too, though. Well, yeah. it'll let's be not go that far with a good game. But, yeah, tickets will be pretty cheap. It'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm not that good. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we have Jimbo Fisher being fired. Yeah. Um, he is owed $76.7 million. I think he's owed like the 20. Brinks yeah. The Brinks truck. Bring him the Brinks truck. He's owed like $20 million by deadline, and then he's going to get paid like $8 million over the span Next. of a couple years. Um. You get paid seventy six million dollars and not work for the people that you're getting paid by. That's living the dream, I think, by yep. anybody's standards. Yep. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, w- there was a thing that came out. It was like he's getting paid, like, or I think it was Isabella actually, the the one of the GS. She's behind the the whole system here. It's she or he's getting paid twenty two thousand dollars a, a day. day. A day. I don't think I've made that in a year before. Some people don't even make that in a year. I've I don't made think it, I have. I've made it once, but I work two jobs, work eighteen hours a day, so. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not know. fun. No, yeah. and then he's just like going to be out there on hole eighteen, being like, "Oh yeah, I made yeah. twenty two thousand dollars today." Yeah, the wire right to his bank account. <laughs> hey boys, drinks on me today. Yeah, oh, drinks on so. me. Today. But uh, one thing I will say: so now the Texas A and M jobs open, and yep. that's interesting mm-hmm. because you want to talk about a program. It's a top ten program in the country. It's with the likes of Alabama, Georgia, you know, Texas A and M, Tennessee, Michigan, Ohio State, all those. Oregon. So oh, wow. you're going to be able to pay. Whoever you want, however much you want, unlimited you know, resources, unlimited resources, despite having to pay Jimbo Fisher an arm and a leg, right? You think mm-hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll discount the new the new dude? No, no, you don't think so. Yeah, you can't, especially if it's yeah. who I think it is. Who, who do you who? think it is, Mister Urban Meyer? No, nah. Yeah. He's going, you know what, boys? I got a bad taste in my mouth at Jacksonville. Um, yeah, because come back he picked the kicker. Yeah, he a grown man. He physically grown abused man. the player. A he player. Fi- he physically abused a player. He um, it's probably not had ideal. A, had a little bit of a, a little too handsy at a bar, yeah. in which he should have been on the plane home to, with his team. But he was after wasn't. a loss. After a loss, loss. And and that was someone, a bad loss. Low key. Someone that was not his his wife, and someone who's very significantly younger than he is. So there's that. It's just been a, so, you know, a lot of things. Down. A lot of things are going in his favor, aren't they? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's Urban Meyer. I mean, is he the best moral human being on planet Earth? No. no. But football. He, but football, he's really good at that. I think. I think there's other candidates right now that can do an equal to a better job mm. than what he can do. Who? Yeah, I disagree. I really do. I mean, that's not that. I, I disagree in the sense that there are guys like that, but there's not guys that are available like that. Dan Lanning's not going anywhere. Well, nobody's nobody's available like but that. People, people yeah. can become what, what? available very easily. Yeah, but that's my point. Yeah. Their list was like Dan Campbell, Dan Lanning, maybe Mike Elko. I could kind of see him leaving Duke because he coached there before. But it's like, I mean, good God, guys, we're going to hire Bill Cliff Belichick. Kingsbury might come back. Uh, no, they're not yeah, going to hire may, him. Maybe not. Why not? Uh, yeah, I, he's really Urban good at, Meyer, but not Cliff Kingsbury. Well, Cliff Kingsbury is really good at running an offense, but he's a terrible head coach. They won in spite of him in Arizona, not because of him. But we talking about, like we talking that. about I like that. Okay. But we talking about collegiate football. We taking it a whole nother step down. Which some people may argue that coaching collegiate football is Co- harder yeah, yeah. than coaching in the NFL. It, well, it's, you got to recruit. Exactly. Yeah. But and Trey Wild Owl, who just texted me this, he said, uh, Kingsbury's a choker and I think that's historically accurate. <laughs> yeah. so, Trey. Good catch, Trey. Yeah. yeah um is. but no, so I it's gonna be interesting and we'll talk about it probably next week as well. But um before we move on from college football, I, I know we mentioned the the Santos Rollins things. You you did you listened to the audio right yeah, we before. Did, yeah. What are your thoughts on that before we move on to the NFL? I know what my thoughts are, but I want to hear your thoughts. You go ahead, Dylan. I want to hear your yeah. thoughts. Okay. Go for it, Dylan. Um from an athlete perspective, I don't I don't get it. You know, if you're going through something, why not at least tell a teammate or something? Somebody could have told the coach. I feel like as a 
not communicating with the coach and you're supposed to be playing, mm-hmm. you know, you play. It ain't like you just a bench warm or something. You play, so they need you at some point, and you ain't say nothing. That's kind of weird. Now, blaming it on mental health, whether it's true or not, we got to, as a society, not an athlete, human being, we got to stop using that as an excuse and persevere through those challenges that the mental health brings because that's life. You know, some going to be hard. I'm like, oh, you know. No, you got to fight through it a little bit. You can be down, but, you know, still be a human being, an adult, communicate, work through it, persevere, and hopefully it's not a problem later on. But yeah. I don't disagree with nothing the coach said, you know. Before it, before you move on, I hate to cut you off, yeah. but before you speak on this, for those of you who don't know, what the, the way this came about was he's a defensive lineman. He got asked to switch to the offensive line, didn't show up to practice for two weeks, didn't inform anybody. Yep of what was going on, and then met with the head coach, Lane Kiffin, and Lane Kiffin basically was like, why didn't you show up? You didn't explain this to anybody. You didn't communicate with anybody. You, if Guys, if we don't show up to work for two weeks, if I don't show up to here for two yeah. weeks as a graduate assistant, I'm fired. And don't yeah. tell anybody. Like, if I'm not it, – It better be – like it better be a family yeah. member died, or like yeah. it, it's got to be a Some good traumatic. reason. Yeah, yeah right. Like, but if I don't tell, it's like Steve Sawyer or Barry Gresham, like, hey guys, I've got a family thing. I got to step away for maybe a week or so. I will let you know when I'm back to be able to work. I guarantee you, they'd be like, hey man, we'll work with you. We'll figure it out. Yeah. If exactly. I don't show up for two weeks, they're like, buddy, I'm gonna leave you a voicemail. Um, you're fired. Yeah. yeah. yeah so exactly. I want. I want. You, what are your thoughts on this before we move on? So I just want to preface that. Mental health is is a real thing, yeah. especially mm-hmm. with college athletes, because we're asked to do so many different things at so many different times. Male you know? college athletes, exactly, especially because yeah, no we don't talk about male, men. Let's be honest, we don't talk about our feelings. Yeah, yeah. and we that's, that's not true. that's not disregarding the women, but I'm no. st- I'm standing with that ten yeah. toes. Every yep. and every every male college athlete struggles with it a little bit whether they want to say it or not yeah, right I've, I've dealt with my own struggles freshman year and, and you know get into that later but it's uh it's, it's tough it really is and so I want to preface first that it is a real thing with with male college athletes secondly I think I think if he would have told somebody like if he would have came to to Lane Kiffin and been like look you know I, I've got some problems you know with with some stuff like I got to figure that out before I can handle my business on the football field. Lane Kiffin probably would have been like, "All right, here here are the steps you need to go to. You know, here are the people you need to go to because you know, even at like Austin P, we have a lot of resources as athletes. Think about a place like Ole Miss; they've got so, so many, many resources. They've got way more resources than what we have here, and we have plenty: counselors, therapists, personal. Right? Hey, he, he on scholarship, you can. He can have one about it in the morning. Exactly. And so if he would have just told somebody, he could have taken a week, two weeks, three weeks, four More. weeks off. Like, you know, they and apparently if he if they're asking him to switch from D line to offensive line, he's probably not playing or contributing. Let's let's be honest there. So, you know, it's not like they're hurting he's he's hurting them on the football field. Um, but yeah, if he, I think he, if he would have just told somebody, Lane, he'd still he'd still be there. Like Lane wouldn't have gotten mad. None of this would have blown up the happened. way. Yeah, the he's, way it did. He's suing them. He's suing the university and Lane Kiffin for forty million dollars. I doubt he's going to see a dime of that. And no, it he, just he may see a percentage. It just, well, I, I doubt hush it. money, hush money, maybe. Yeah, but I, but it just so happened to come out the week they're playing Georgia. Like yeah, the whole thing was, just seems way too convenient. So I agree with you guys. I think it's total. Yeah. You know. In, insert word um, that yeah. I can't say, but you know I agree with you guys completely. Um, we'll hit this real quick. Um, UT takes on Georgia at home, big game with a lot of implications with Georgia. Washington takes on Oregon State, obviously big implications with them trying to remain undefeated. And then North Carolina takes on Clemson as Clemson is kind of getting back on track. Um, so some some not not the biggest week of college football, but a, mm. a decent. But these amount might of, be some decent look games. Oh yeah, I think these are going to be good games. I think there's good games. There's just not as many games with like stakes. Stakes. Yeah, added. exactly. Granted, we'll say that, and then somebody will upset whoever Florida State's playing. We'll Oregon, upset them. Like Oregon State will, will upset Washington, and then Oregon State's back in the uh, college football playoff talk. Yep. Honestly. And then and then it's just you know hey chaos from there. Yeah. 
All right, let's move on to the NFL. Um, we'll hit this really quick. Uh, Josh Dobbs continues to impress as they defeat the Saints, him and the Vikings, despite a late rally from Jameis Winston, led Saints 27-19. C.J. Stroud outduels Joe Burrow as the Texans defeat the Bengals on the road 30-27. And the Broncos defeat the Bills 24-22, resulting in the Bills firing their O.C. Ken Dorsey. Um, and then this week, we have a lot of primetime games this week as we have tonight. Uh, Thursday Night Football, we have a great game. We have the Bengals, Bengals and the Ravens. Uh, Ravens. Huge AFC North game with a lot of implications there. Um, Josh Dobbs, he will see Sunday Night Football as the Man. Broncos take on the Saints. Uh, you're, and I'm a big fan. Listen, Astro I, Dobbs. Do, Josh Dobbs' story is <laughs> amazing. Dobbs. And the fact that he's getting as much love as he is is warranted because his story is awesome. Yeah. And it will probably continue to be awesome, especially if he gets Justin Jefferson back this week from injury. Yeah. Which is which, which is a possibility. Which I saw a stat uh on Instagram that it said they are one in the Vikings are one in four with Jefferson in the lineup. They're five and one without him. I don't they're believe five, it. Well, they're five and zero. Oh. Five and zero oh without. I'm sorry. But is it just Jefferson's fault? No. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's from not. a from a guy who had him in fantasy for the first five weeks, I can tell it you, wasn't. Yeah, it okay. wasn't his fault. It but wasn't his fault. That see, that's where I don't like fantasy. I love fantasy, but that's where I don't like it because just because the dude's catching a bunch of balls and like you know doing all these things like doesn't doesn't like relate to wins. Well, like, the they defense were, still has to step up. The quarterback still has to you know. Throw the about offense. everybody. Yeah. The offensive Correct. line still has to run, you know, still has to block and let the running back do his thing. Like, you know, that's where, yeah, fantasy football is a little. They did commit a lot of turnovers their yeah. first five games. I mean, it was literally like they were going for a historic number. Barry Gresham was a and victim in the first of that. quarter. They were he was fuming, bad. wasn't he? He was so he was mad. So mad. It was literally like every other series. They would just, it would just, and it'd be like some fluke stuff. Like yeah. they would just, like the ball would just happen to go into the other players' uh, hands. So do you that's think, awesome. you think Minnesota resigns uh, Josh Dobbs? Even though I hope so. Kirk is on Kirk. This is expiring a deal. He on a contract here. Mm-hmm. He's hurt. If and they have no quarterback. If he keeps playing like he does, I try to sign Josh Stops cheap or cheaper mm. and then see what he's got next year. See, the thing is, is though you're not going to be able to get him cheap yeah. because of how he's playing cheap right now. It, it, no, it's going to be a bidding war. Yeah, that's well, it's going to be cheaper. I mean, he's not going to get Patrick Mahomes money. but he's gonna Okay, get, no. He, but, but he's going to get like relatively cheap. Geno, for, Geno Smith money? No. Three-year 100 mil? No. No, no, no. no. He's I think gonna he's going to get three years like – Maybe 75. 50 million. Mm, he's going to get something re- for a starting quarterback. Let's say this: he's not going to be a starting quarterback next year in the league. I'm he's sorry. not. If he's he I'm, can go to, he can go to the Giants and maybe the Vikings. I'm, uh, listen, I, yeah. If I'm if I'm Minnesota, I'm re-signing him, and we're going to see what he does next year. He's with, the best. He's the best backup in the league. Can we? He's not a backup anymore. Well, he's fighting for. I'm it. saying if he keeps playing like he's he is, been not the best granted, backup. Like yeah, yeah. no, nah, he's a he's a starting quarterback now. If he now, keeps playing like but, he does, if yeah. he goes back to earth, yeah. I'm Gino saying, had one good year and got paid. That's true. Yeah. It's interesting with Geno Smith because he came into the league, he played okay, he struggled, and then now he's back to to the Geno Smith that, you know, he was like his rookie in second year. So why not yeah. why Josh Dobbs can't get the same payday then? Because he hasn't uh, – because because he didn't even come into the league and do anything like he wasn't looked at as a starter. Like Geno Smith was a first round draft pick. A uh, second was he second? High was he second. Early second. I think he was high second. So that's pretty much pretty high draft. Pretty pretty much first round pick. Yeah. So but like Josh Dobbs was like a a, a fifth or like a fourth. I think he was. Tom a Brady was a six. Okay, yeah, but <laughs> I'm throwing counter arguments all day. He deserved I'm, to get paid. I get it, but like if you if you. Uh, that's just not that's how the NFL boy. works. I know, but that's just not how the NFL works. Yeah, it's not. Like, yeah, it's not. They're gonna draft. They're gonna draft a young guy rather than re-sign a Josh Dobbs type cat for that five if year. They, if they can get him cheap, I think they will for what's, a starting quarterback. What's cheap? Like three years, sixty million. I can 60. for a starting quarterback. I'm saying if they say like, "Hey, Josh Dobbs is our starting quarterback. We're gonna give you three years, sixty million dollars." What's that? Twenty a pop. Twenty and I, that's like twenty up a pop. That's that's fully like that's not. It need fully to be fully. Gu- it need to be yeah, fully. It's guaranteed. not be fully guaranteed. The the reason I want to put this out there first. The reason he started for the Cardinals in the first place is because they were tanking and and they wanted a quarterback yeah. that was good enough, serviceable enough to get them through the year and make like maybe one or two wins and not be good enough to win them like. But they Seven they games. intentionally sold a couple of those games. They easily could have been like five, and they could have been. Oh, Josh Jobs. Was I would, two I'll weeks say away. this: Josh Jobs was not, was not, in my opinion, the reason they were losing. Yeah, they were the reason right, they were in those was, games. That, yeah. But that's the reason that he was the quarterback. That that was their thought process. Now he yeah. played a lot better than what what it said on paper and why they got him. 
but let's not forget the the actual reason that he was a starting quarterback. Like he would be a backup quarterback right now if Kyler he'd still healthy. be with the Cardinals. Yeah, if Kyler was healthy, he'd still be with the Cardinals. He'd mm-hmm. be backing him up. Like he'd be doing all these different things, you know. But if if was the fifth, we all be drunk. the guys had an incredible story going back to last year. Before we move on, um, got signed to the Titans off the Lions practice squad. Has eight days with the team. Starts Thursday night football. Wins. Comes that no, unfortunately not. Was Come, that the Cowboys? No. Yeah, I was at that game. Comes, the Cowboys game. Yeah, comes that close to beating Dallas in prime yeah. time Thursday night football. Probably should have. Probably should have. Oh yeah, that was a good game. I it was a good game. I was uh, prime. Gets traded. Okay, this year to the Cardinals, and then or signs with the Card. Well, no, I think yeah. he signed with traded. them. No, he got traded oh. from Cleveland. Signs with Cleveland. Gets traded oh. at the at the, before the season starts. Forgot about Cleveland. Plays really well despite them not winning games. Then gets traded again to Minnesota with four days of practice, and that's pr- quote unquote practice, practice, like two days yeah. of practice, yeah, probably two days of walkthrough, walk through, yeah, and then the game day, and win. Starting quarterback gets hurt. He has to go through the cadence with the offensive line on the sidelines. We saw that video. He goes out, balls out, wins. Then comes back the next week as a starter, comes out, balls out, wins. wins. You know the Cleveland Browns are like just they're fuming, no, they're fuming no, right now. That, that rookie D was it D Thompson Robinson? Yeah, DTR. He, he's serious. Well, he looked great in preseason. He looked terrible in his starting. I'm not, so, would you game. rather have DTR or Josh Dobbs? I don't really for like, for who the Cleveland Browns. For the Browns. It doesn't matter for who. If DTR, you're saying no, Josh DT, Dobbs is DTR, the starting quarterback. DTR right now because Chubb is gone too. Now if Chubb was still there. Give me wow. Dobbs, but we don't have nothing on the yeah. offense, so we'll take it. We'll take the back so seat. a rookie quarterback's going to be better with less of a, lesser of a run game than Josh Dobbs would be with a run game. No, I'm just saying for simple of trying to progress. Oh, okay, trying yeah. to okay. progress. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I like it. Yeah. No, yeah. I like that. That's like an interesting that. take. Um, but I, I tell you what's not interesting, or what is interesting, is Monday Night Football: Eagles Chiefs rematch. Kelsey Bowl. So you Kelsey got the Kelsey Bowl. So look at the, look at the prime time games before we move Swift on. Bowl. Tonight, Bengals Ravens. Sunday Night Football, Dobbs and Broncos against a Broncos team that is on the, quietly on the on the slipping in the AFC playoff picture. Quietly, no one's talking about them. Mm-mm. So you got a big game for both those teams as they're trying to keep in pace for the wild card spot. And then the Monday Night Football, you got the Super Bowl rematch. I mean, <sighs> give me the po- give me the popcorn. Give me my drink. Let me sit in my couch the whole day. Probably watch the Titans lose, but that's a talk for another You'd day. Really be watching that, <laughs> and then let me just watch football all day Sunday because it is going to be electric all day. No, it is, and I'm I'm excited. So that's what we got going for this week for the NFL. Moving on with the other sports, um, the NBA uh, continues to move on. As the Celtics and the 76ers are off to a huge start. Yeah. Yeah. Celtics, played, Celtics beat them last night. Yeah. 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 Big, big. Shout out to Tay Tay. Jason Tatum, dog. Is he, let, let me ask you that, guys, this. Is he making a case for not best, but is he like top three, top four in the, I, in the league in terms of just players? You're going to disagree with this, but I would rather have Jason Tatum right now than LeBron James. No, I'm, I agree with that. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now. I, I would s- I would say yes. Since since Jason Tatum's coming to the league, would you rather have him or LeBron James? No. LeBron, the the no. only the only championship that LeBron James has has been to slash one was in the bubble. Jason Tatum has been to what two since that? Two, one? He's two been to, three ECF one finals. Yeah, he's been to the conference finals and then he's been to one co- finals. Jason Tatum, man. But you get LeBron the same team as Tatum, I think. Ah, I don't know. Man. I mean, that, that's, I think they beat the Warriors. A, that's a fair argument. I beat, but but the Lakers gave LeBron the opportunity to build that team, and he tried, and he that failed. That is also true. Yeah, but that's the thing I've never understood about LeBron. Like people who defend him, and, and this I don't is what like I say dude. because be they let him not like say he's going to pick every single player, but they they let he has him, a good say. So he has a say, especially the big guys. Like he chose Anthony Davis. He yeah. said, I want. Which was the right choice. No, it wasn't. He got a ring. It was the right choice. Dude. A quote unquote ring. But no. the, the guy. Did Anthony Davis even play in the finals yeah. that year? Yeah. Like, did he even yeah, play? He averaged 26 and 12, it, bro. What would we not fin- I'm not. But the guy doesn't play half the year. Yes or no? He got a ring. If, does the if, guy play if half the season? Yes or no? In the bubble, you would have been celebrating a ring. Answer the question. If, well, if you had does a team, the guy play? The, Boston didn't does, care that they were there. So. Yeah. Does the guy play a full season with the Lakers yet? Yes or no? The year they won, he played 
85, that, 90 percent of the season. Because eighty five because the other half of the season that he would have missed got cut off because there's a worldwide pandemic. Well, the NBA regular season doesn't matter anyways. That's been low proven. key. Well shout out to the end season the, tournament. Well the Lakers keep missing the playoffs if it doesn't matter. It was in Wisconsin Finals. <laughs> All right. We, we say it doesn't matter, but yeah. then it's like, well, you keep missing the playoffs, so it clearly matters a little bit. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, man. Um, Why y'all hating on LeBron? I'm not hating. I'm just saying that. No, I'm hating. But okay. he is top three, though. Devin right Booker, really Luka, Tatum. And yeah. Though you got the well, Shea, that Joel Nicola. Embiid, Jokic, the Joker. On, Numero, by default. Giannis, Giannis. No. The Greek Freak. Mm. I'll take that. I'll take Jason Tatum over Giannis. Yeah, I'm, I, I got Tatum over Giannis. Ooh, I don't know about that. Giannis has Giannis is is the one that has a legit ring. Like he's got a legit trophy. He's trying to get himself another one. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving Dylan nuts. No so doubt. We got to move on. No doubt. Um, I mean Nuggets, Mavs as well. I mean, dude, the 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 Ma- it, uh, it, Luke, them, Luke. have the Mavs figured it out? Low key. What are they eight and two now? What are they? Yeah, Nine they and three. Excuse yeah, me? they won last night. I'm gonna pull up the rankings. Who? Let me look at the roster because again, listen, this is on my fault, they got but Luka. I don't, I don't follow the the. I, the I can moves. break it down. I was just watching. They got Luca, Kyrie, um, Kyrie Tim- still with them? Yeah, really. Three year, hundred forty million dollar contract. That to, shows you to who. Dallas. Oh, so they got Seth Curry, um, yeah, Luca. Let's see, Derek Tim Lively, Tim Hardaway, Kyrie. Uh, Kleber, I know he's been with them for yeah, a minute. Kleber, yeah. They got one of the Morris twins, the White Powell, um, Grant Williams. Wow, yep. I didn't know he was with them now. Well, Tennessee. folks, Tennessee, you, yeah, Tennessee boy. Yep, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Well, folks, if you like a 500 basketball team, you're gonna like the Los Angeles Lakers sitting at six I'm and six. I'm not even a Lakers fan, which is crazy. I rep the Suns because of Kevin Durant, but I be having to defend LeBron James every week. Well, if you like a below 500 <laughs> basketball team, you're gonna like the Suns. We haven't we haven't been healthy. We haven't been healthy. Well, that's Kevin Durant's. That's another part of Kevin Durant's career. You no, know, Kevin Durant has been healthy. It's been Dev, Devin it's, Booker. It's been uh, uh, uh Bradley Booker, Beal. Yeah. Hey, Bradley Beal. He, is he over there? He play every other night. Every other week, like a paycheck. So yeah, gosh, that's a disaster. Even worse than Anthony Davis, to be honest. So we we have this on our on our rundown uh, before we get out of here. Like who who has the most to lose this year? Obviously, everyone wants to win, but like who besides LeBron? Outside LeBron, because we do have that on. Are we finally seeing the the decline? No, uh, he's older. Well, of course. In what terms of. We're not seeing the decline. We're not talking about it. Answer the question. We're not yeah, talking okay. about it. We're not we're, talking we've, about we've already kind of hit that. But, <laughs> I, but my other thing is, which team has the most to lose in the NBA this season? Like, to lose. That's a tough question. Like, if they don't win the champ, you Clippers. can probably yeah, you can probably answer that Clippers. better. See, I don't look at the Clippers as, like, irrelevant. They're just a sideshow. They're yeah. just – they got Russ, Paul George, Kawhi, and then now they got James Harden. It's like they're just a sideshow. But if it don't work, it's it was a waste. Yeah. It's like a circus at this point. Yeah. It's like, hey, if you're a else, if you're though? a circus act, go to the Clippers. I think I think the Warriors, to be honest, Warriors, Milwaukee, or Boston. It's one it's between them three. But see, like Boston's always, dude. They're always going to be good. Like yeah. I don't, you know, what I'm saying. But, like, but yeah, but see, I don't how many chances are you going to give JT? Yeah, now and granted, Brown? with with Jason Tatum, I think his time's running out. But I, I don't think. I don't think like Jason Tatum is the reason we're gonna win a a, a championship. If that makes any sense, like, he's gonna be your best player, but he's not gonna be the reason. That's my point. Like yeah, I don't I think. Agree. Yeah. I so agree. so it's like losing Jason Tatum. Like it 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 would hurt, but what's to say? Like you know, Boston's got so much money, dude. Like they could go out and get whoever they want. Yep. Really. Flip somebody or something. Yeah. yeah so yep. I mean, you know, they could they could get somebody that that. Replaces his production. Trey Whiteout says Suns, Warriors, Celtics, Milwaukee. That's his list. So, I, I don't oh, see the Suns too. Yeah, definitely. I don't. I see the Suns. That's that's who I, I would pick. I don't see Milwaukee personally because I feel like Damian Lillard is going to be there a couple years no matter what. They get one ring out of the say three years with the team, then I feel like that's a, that is a success. Yeah. Yeah. But that's going to do us for when LeBron. Do it. Yeah. Well, LeBron's going to sit in the LA Sun and you know okay. do Go his ahead. thing. Close Sne- it sneaky Close team. It. P- Pistons on the year, man. Two and ten. They look good. Wow, we got to close. So I'm, I'm yeah. Stay. Okay, <laughs> let's move on before Dylan like assaults us. Um, big shout out to Isabella Christensen, Paige Hearn, and Trey Whiteout for directing this episode as he makes this show run. Uh, Steve Sawyer, David Ellison, 
and Doc V for allowing us to use this lovely studio. Um, guys, we'll hopefully be back next week. Hopefully we'll be back. Or as... we won't be back next week. No, not next week. That's right. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Yeah, we forgot to mention that uh, before we get out. And then uh, we'll see you not next week, but two weeks from now, hopefully. Yeah. So that'll do it for us. And we're out, guys. Peace.